Hey guys, so TCG Con, an interesting story I have on TCG Con was they actually invited me. They were going to give me tickets, my girlfriend and her nephew, as well as my Shibu Unu tickets to TCG Con. And we were going to attend, but then they botched the ticket thing. Um, and when you read about their internal workings, it kind of actually makes a lot of sense what was going on. They had a lot of drama, and now, according to many people, they don't believe that they're going to continue, and TCG Con is just dead. Uh, and also, their website is no longer here, right? So the website is no longer operational. So definitely something to consider and something to really look at. Uh, now, the people have a good time. One of my friends went, and uh, he had a great time at TCG Con. But the background is really crazy. Uh, and now they're not able to pay people back. There's been people making videos about what was happening. They had great prizes and great, you know, I mean, I think this was the second time they did it. They did it the first time with another card shop called Lotus Gaming. And that card shop has since also left Houston. I think um, maybe I'll make a video on Lotus Gaming. I actually did attempt to buy out Lotus Gaming because I felt like they had a good market space, they had a good community, and it didn't work out because the person was not in Houston. I later found out the person Lotus Gaming was not only not in Houston, I think she was in Colorado, and that took me by surprise because I assumed that the... Yeah, again, I assumed that uh, they were in Houston. Because that's where the two game stores were. But they were. I later found out they were in Colorado. So, I mean, again, who knows what really happens. There's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of, you know, mystery, if you will, of this. But TCG Con, right? Uh, yikes. Uh, big yikes. Um, I think a lot of the reason that... Um, yeah, I think a lot of what happened here was based on just confusion and people running a business that had no ability to run a business. And that to me is a lot of magic stores, a lot of magic um, events, right? And even a uh, whole TCG con itself. Many people are not going to realize this, but running a business, sometimes you lose money. There is uh, no guarantee that you make money running a business. <laughs> I think everyone thinks, hey, uh, everyone makes money running a business. But there is a scenario where you lose money and you lose a lot of money for a extended period of time. That looks like what TCG Con did. According to insiders, um, what happened was they owed people a lot of money and they then used the money that they owed. I mean, basically it was like a, a Ponzi, right? They used money from Peter to pay Paul and they used money from one hand to give it to the other hand and that's how they did. So they got, it's kind of like, you know, now that I think about it, it's not a zoo. It, it is so many things like MetaZoo, right? When they do the pre-orders, they collect your money up front. They don't deliver you whatever they promise to deliver you. And then suddenly, um, no, suddenly there's no money left. And there is no um, delivery, right? There is no delivery of goods. And now you're just out whatever that pre-order amount is. So which is pretty, pretty sad in my opinion, right? So again, another very interesting thing that I would probably mention and really kind of talk about is just how these businesses are run and who's running them. It turns out that these are DGENs. Uh, one of the previous employees, he went on YouTube and really kind of went in on these, if these are correct, then I understand why I, 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 my girlfriend, nephew, and Shibu Unu never got passes. It was just that. Yeah, so it's this guy. Uh, watch his video. I mean, he's hilarious, right? And he talks about, like, uh, drug is drugs. <laughs> it's interesting what happened behind the scene. It, it seemed like they used all their extra money to hire uh, strippers. Like, uh, honest to God, I think that's where all the money went. 
And, and that would explain why the volunteers are so unorganized. So I was expecting to see and get an email maybe a week, maybe even like a few days in advance saying, hey, these are your tickets. Uh, we'll see you at the con. I didn't get no email, man. I didn't get any emails, right? Like, I, I don't really know how I was supposed to go to the place. Or, I mean, it never occurred to me, like, it never occurred to me that, like, this would, it was done so poorly from my perspective that I was just like, I'm not going to go. I was actually going to pay. I was actually going to pay. Um... And I just, uh, you know, I, I just was done so, so poorly. It's unbelievable. Like, you would expect, I, I have more, not to, to my own horn, but I, I was a lot bigger than the majority of people there in terms of views and what I could bring them. And they really just, um, big, big yikes, man. Big yikes. Uh, they either didn't want... I mean, I guess they did want me because they did try to convince me in a last ditch attempt for me to go there. And I was like, nah, man, I'm not going no more. Um, yeah, it was just an awful experience. I, I did not have a good time. And I definitely didn't. Um, I did not have a good time. Our experience, and I was going to pay my own money to go because I was it's in Houston. Why not, right? It's just kind of a fun local event, and we had to hang out with the nephew anyway that weekend. So why not like have a, something to look at, right? Instead of driving around from GameStop to GameStop, I felt like, oh, this is a good way for him to see multiple local game shop shops in one area, and then I don't have to drive like for hours and hours. I don't know. They, they bundled this thing, man. I, I definitely could have helped them with some of the video. They have like almost no video content. No, there was no video people. I was going to make a bunch of videos and shorts and I told them the idea and stuff and I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be a fun time for everybody and it turned out it was not a fun time because I did not go. Um, and, then, and then you hear all this stuff, right? The... The Ponzi-like scheme, the the strip club after the events, and the the their part, and you're like, wow, that that kind of explains what happened at TCG Con, right? And its poor reputation and staffing issues and and so on. The judges and the I mean, no one got paid, man. Thank God I didn't go or <laughs> make a video saying that like I was sponsored. I 100% not sponsored by them, by the way. I was gonna pay for my own tickets, but just the way that they communicated with me I, I it makes sense but it probably were just some like like intern right anyway let me know if you guys went bye guys